Okay, let's have another kind of sequence aside from arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, we have Fibonacci sequence. And this is our objectives for today. Illustrate Fibonacci sequence. Then find the next terms of the Fibonacci sequence. And then our, we're going to apply Fibonacci in real life. Okay, were you able to identify an object in nature with Fibonacci pattern? What is Fibonacci sequence? It is a sequence where its two terms are either both 1 or 0 and 1. And its term thereafter is obtained by adding the two preceding terms. Okay, now let's have an example number 1. What is the next term in the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5? As you can see, 0 plus 1 equals 1. So the term after 0 and 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 equals 2. So the term after 1 and 1 is 2. The next, 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Therefore, the next term after 5 is 8. Now, let's have this example number 2. Find the next 4 terms of the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Okay, so our first term or A sub 1 is 0. Second term is 1, third term is 1, fourth term is 2, third, uh, fifth term is 3, sixth term is 5. And we're going to find the 7, 8, 9, and 10th term. Okay, based on the given pattern, we add the two preceding terms. Okay, let's have this one. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Then 3 plus 5 equals 8. And 5 plus 8 equals 13. 8 plus 13 equals 21. Then 13 plus 21 equals 34. So those are uh, the next four terms of the sequence. We have 8, 13, 21, and 34. Okay, number 3. Given the Fibonacci sequence 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, find the next 5 terms. Okay, so now this is the solution. Since each new term in a Fibonacci sequence can be obtained by adding its two preceding terms, then the next 5 terms are... 55, 89, 144, 233, and 377. So, this is the solution again. Uh, we have 21 plus 34 is 55. And then 34 plus 55 is 89. Then 55 plus 89 is 144. The next 89 plus 144 is 233. Then 144 plus 233 equals 377. Okay, that is how to find the next term of the Fibonacci sequence. Now we have the mathematics and nature. So the numbers that appear in the Fibonacci sequence appear in many different patterns in nature. Okay, let's look for the Fibonacci numbers and pictures from nature. Very often, there will be 5, 8, 13, 21, or 34 petals or a number very close to that. On the first picture, some flowers has 5 petals. On the next one, 2, 4, 6, 8, we have 8 petals. On the other one, we have 13. The next one, 31, and so on. And this is another example of Fibonacci in nature. We have the sunflowers. Um, sunflowers are particularly fascinating as they show Fibonacci numbers in so many ways. If you're going to count the petals on a sunflower, there are many. And you'll most likely count exactly 21, 34, or 55 petals, nothing in between. If you look closely at the center of a sunflower, 
you will see a spiral patterns. In fact, there are spirals in two directions. And if you have the patience to count the number of spirals, it will always be a Fibonacci number. So count the spirals in the other directions, it will be an adjacent Fibonacci number. This picture is called spiral. Let's have this one. We have pine cones, pineapple, daisy centers, and so on. Now let's have this picture. Spirals in nature have a distinctive shape. They start out tightly cold near the center, then unfurl more closely as they grow. Okay, now let's observe the Pascal's triangle from the top. Okay, we have also Fibonacci numbers in art and nature. And now you can color your own Fibonacci sequence. We have the following pictures. You can print it and then color it. And this is for your home activity. You're going to complete the table of Fibonacci numbers.